Right out of the box, the SOLIDWORKS interface is set up to be intuitive and functional for the majority of users out there, making SOLIDWORKS easy to learn and easy to use. But since each person is different and works in different ways, SOLIDWORKS makes it really easy to customize the interface, tailoring it for you as an individual. First of all, just about all of the elements in the interface can be repositioned anywhere on the screen. You can drag and drop the Command Manager or Task Pane anywhere on the screen, or even to another monitor if you have dual monitors. The Command Manager can be docked on the left, right or top of the screen. And you can redock the Task Pane with this icon here. By default, SOLIDWORKS shows you a text description of all of the tools on the toolbar. After you've been using SOLIDWORKS for just a little while, the icons become second nature, so you can save space by right-clicking and turning off the large buttons with text. Any toolbars you often use can easily be added by right-clicking anywhere on the toolbar and selecting the toolbar you want to add. Toolbars can also be undocked and moved around the screen. If you add a few toolbars, you'll immediately notice that the interface that was once simple and clean starts getting cluttered with icons. I'll turn these toolbars back off. Instead of having a bunch of toolbars, the Command Manager's always been a great way to access the tools you need without having lots of icons showing all at once. You can show more Command Manager tabs by right-clicking a tab and making your selection, giving you quick access to the tools you use the most. SOLIDWORKS also lets you customize what buttons and commands appear in each toolbar. If I switch to the Commands tab, SOLIDWORKS presents a list of every command in the software. I might want to add some other tools to the Sketch Toolbar. And I can remove any tools by clicking and dragging them back into the Commands box. This also works for the Heads Up Toolbar at the top of the Graphics area. Another great time saver is the ability to customize your keyboard with hotkeys. First of all, a lot of people ask if there's a quick way to see all of the default hotkeys in SOLIDWORKS. This is it. If you click on the Shortcuts button, it sorts the list by commands that have hotkeys assigned. One shortcut I really like is to have the M key launch the Measure tool. You can add this hotkey or any other command simply by typing the function in the search box and then typing in the hotkey you want. I also like having the P key switch to the previous view, so I'll quickly create a custom hotkey for that. The possibilities are unlimited, so go ahead and set up hotkeys for all your favorite features and commands you use often. The same applies to mouse gestures, which we've talked about in other time savers. You can set it to four or eight gestures and customize the available commands and the gesture direction needed to activate them. The flexibility that you have to customize your interface to fit the way you use SOLIDWORKS is virtually unlimited. I recommend taking a few moments to think about some of the commands and functions you use often. Taking a few minutes to set up hotkeys and streamline your interface now can save you a lot of time in the future. Thank you. This has been a SOLIDWORKS Time Saver.